Welcome, good morning. I am having my coffee and I'm going to record a little video for you. And today I'm going to be talking about cinema film. So cinema is a film store shop producer, reseller, distributor in Portugal. And they originally started out 12 years ago under the name of Máquinas de Outros Tempos. So Cinema very kindly sent me some of their film to test out. They are on a mission to make film more affordable for people. They will encourage people to keep shooting film and keeping film alive. So I'm gonna share two results with you today, two roles that I shot. I shot the Lisboa, 1999, and I also shot the Pessoa, black and white. They sent me some more, uh, but I just haven't gotten to them yet. And I didn't want to wait until I shot. I was originally going to wait until I shot all of them to do this video and just talk about all of them all at once. Um, but it's going to take me a while, I'm realizing. So I'm just going to get this uh, video out and let you know about cinema. And they're yet another uh, more affordable place to get film. They're based in Portugal. So if you are based in uh, the UK or uh, Europe, it might be slightly cheaper. I don't know about shipping to the US, how expensive that is. Usually shipping from the US to other places has generally been way more expensive than shipping from other places to the US. Now, most of the films they sent me were black and white. The only color one was the Lisboa 1999. And we're gonna get into each type of film that they offer and what it is, how much it is, and all that good stuff. So I really love how they've named each of their films after some aspect of uh, their culture, their history. Lisboa uh, 1999 film is a 400 ISO color film. Uh, and I checked with them in advance because I knew people were gonna ask. It is made in Germany. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, draw your conclusions from there. Uh, they say that it is characterized by high grain and desaturated colors gives the film a vintage look and I agree. So I will show you my results. I didn't film too much B-roll for this role because I shot it mostly, I was on a photo walk um, with some new photo friends, uh, Bob and Serena, Bob from Photoprendy YouTube channel and Serena from Serena.snapped on Instagram. And I was just enjoying their company so much that I, I didn't film any B-roll. Uh, so, so I'm just gonna show you a few of the samples here. I really like how they came out. I didn't overexpose them. I shot them at 400, but I think I scanned them a little lighter. So I'm not sure if uh, you scan this somewhere else or if a land scanned them, that they would be a little bit darker, uh, bring down those highlights a little bit, but I actually really like the look. <laughs> All right, so the other color film that they also have is called Nino, and that is an ECN2 color film. Uh, it will go for about 850 euros. The Nino film is an ECN2 film. It says Kodak Vision on the roll. I looked on their website and they didn't say what ISO it was. All right, so then they have, then the rest of their films are black and white. So they've got Azores, which is a 400 black and white um, ISO film, uh, also 850 euros. Uh, Amalia is a 100 ISO black and white film. Uh, they say high contrast and fine grain. Uh, it's got good definition and sharpness, making it ideal for portraits. They've got Coimbra, which is a 250D um, black and white film. Uh, it's got a high exposure latitude. And uh, it says that this was originally produced for the motion picture industry. It's an ideal film for use in landscape and low light environment. Okay, then they've got a film called Fado, or Fado, which is a 200 ISO black and white film. Uh, says it's characterized by its high contrast. Then the one that I shot is called Pessoa. So this is a 400 ISO black and white film characterized by high sharpness and sensitivity. It's effective in both high and low light environments. And I will show you my results. I did shoot some B-roll of this film because I went on a little road trip with it. <laughs>
Okie dokie, so we are here in Alton Bay, which is a uh, town along the shores of Lake Winnipesaukee. And it's super pretty, uh, even in the middle of winter with all the snow. So we are here with the Nikon FM2, and we're taking some, uh, I've got the Cinemont uh, black and white in here, ISO 400. So yeah, so we're gonna take some photos around the lake and all the cute spots in the winter. Uh, Cause I also wanna do like a, I'm gonna take some photos here in the summer too, um, and do like a throughout the seasons thing around the lakes, um, which I think will be a cool project. So yeah, let's find some other, other spots. No, you get her at the very first time. It could be the best of days. It could be the best of times. What do we So I've got the 50 mil, the 20 mil, and the 28 mil with me. The 50 mil is the only one that really works with the light meter here. Of course, I can shoot this in manual too. Um, but it is nice to have the light meter, especially because it meters through the lens. And I've got an ND filter on here um, just to hopefully get a little bit smoother water. Uh, on the lake. I don't know. We'll see how it comes out. It might be too bright for it. Uh, it's an ND32 filter. Uh, so <laughs> I'm kind of getting the exposure with the 50 and then I might put the 20 back on because I just love the wide angle right now. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we get. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm bracketing my shots a little bit, or I'm just playing around with the exposure. Uh, so I am doing a middle exposure, and then I'm doing slightly overexposed, and I might do slightly underexposed. Uh, obviously, I want the slightly overexposed because that'll give me more time, uh, so the water's a little bit smoother. So we'll see how it comes out. It's not that slow, so it's only like one over two of a second, one half of a second, uh, which is not that slow. I was really kind of hoping for a cloudier day, so I would have more time for the longer exposure. However, it's turned into this beautiful sunny day, which I won't complain about. Cinema recommends processing this in HC110 or Rodinol. They say that uh, they've had the best results from HC110. Now I processed this in a to be, still to be announced developer. It was supposed to be announced at the photography show, but then they kind of held it back because they decided that they weren't ready yet, which is totally fair enough, um, but I'm still using it. <laughs> so uh, I will say what it is later when it's officially uh, announced. And I also scanned these on my Epson V600. Now, I really enjoyed shooting these films. I think that it's great that Cinema is trying to make film more affordable for people. I highly recommend getting film from them. I think it's really cool. Uh, they seem like a nice shop. Uh, I love their designs and the way that they integrate Portuguese history and culture along with their films as well. Definitely, I will leave a link below to Cinema's website. Uh, not paid, not sponsored. They just sent me the film. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little video and I will see you in the next one soon. Thank you.